Hey, welcome to another video from Skinny Medic. In my last video, I did a video on the Trauma FX Simulator, and I used some of this S-Roll gauze. And someone commented on there and said, hey, thanks for opening it up. There's no video about this on YouTube. It's easy enough. I can fix that. So here's a video on the North American Rescue S-Roll gauze. I'm going to open it up, take out the package so you don't have to open yours up, and take a look at what's inside. All right, so we'll take a look at the outside of the packaging here. If you fold it like this, so you're four inches by four inches, kind of gives you an idea. And it weighs 1.6 ounces, for those of you concerned about the weight. And you have a couple areas you can open this up, and they're marked by red. That way, under stress, you see the red here. I've um, got little pull tabs here. So under stress, you're going to see it, and you can open this up. They've made the packaging nice and big here to kind of give you some grip for your fine motor skills are going to go to pots when you're under stress. So we can pull here. That opens up the packaging. And then this gauze, when it comes out, is going to be four and a half inches wide and a little over four yards in length. So 4.1 yards in length, and it's 4.5 inches when we open it up. So now we have this package here. If you just pull right here, this little red dot comes open. And now we can start pulling out the gauze, and it's going to kind of feed out of this packaging. So open this up here for you. This is where the four and a half inches wide. We pull this. This is just stretch gauze, like cheesecloth, basically here. But as we're putting this onto the wound or inside the wound, however you're using it, pulling this out, you can see it looks pretty small when you've got it all vacuum sealed out. But once you get it pulled out of the packaging, you've got a ton of gauze here. So now, this all, now you can see how much gauze was down in there. So we have a tremendous amount of gauze for one particular wound, all vacuum sealed when packaging. So it takes up a lot less room in your IFACT or your trauma kit or your med kit than trying to put this much gauze that's not vacuum sealed in there. So it's a huge space saver by getting it in the sealed packaging. So you can see here the size comparison what we started out with versus now. So as a quick reminder, there's no hemostatic agent associated with this gauze. Okay, this is just gauze. So you're not talking about combat gauze, you're not talking about Celox here. This is going to be used for wound packing. You can use it for moderate bleeding as well. Someone's got a nasty cut, doesn't need a tourniquet, just needs some good direct pressure, then we can pull this out of the package and use that as well. So it doesn't necessarily just for wound packing either. This could take the place of the 5x9 or something like that as well. So a little expensive 5x9, but it could work. So uh, this could be used around for the head, for those things those bleed very easily uh, and can be difficult to control. So lots of uses for this gauze. You don't necessarily have to use it for wound packing, uh, but you know, if you had a 5.9, you'd probably go that route for expense reasons, uh, but lots of uses for this. So I hope this video helps you never know when you'll be the first responder, maybe the right gear and the right training.